Hi, everyone. Boo. <laughs> Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Hello, hello. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up or say you can hear us if you can hear us. Oh, did I turn this on? Let's make sure. Nope. Nope. Okay, no. now can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us now? Uh, Hi, then. You have some good yoga right now from Sierra. Thumbs up. Hi, Sierra. Always Hi, happy you're here. Can you hear us? We're going to do some great yoga today. We're going to play some games, some of our favorite games. Uh, Zephyr yes. chose them. All right. Yes. Yes. Great. Yes. Hi, guys. Grace oh. said hi, guys. Hi. Who said it? Gary. Oh. You think that's Fox and Bay? <laughs> Maybe. Is that Fox and Bay? <laughs> All right. Let's see what time it is. Can you go look at my clock right up there? 2.59. Oh, we have a minute. See if anybody else is going to join us live. Go. Go. Zephyr, go. You don't need to bring all your Legos. I want to show them. Wait, what? I bet you guys are going to the bathroom. No. Yes. Zephyr wants to show everybody his Lego Beyblades that he made. So you can't see them. Here's and uh, here's the first one. <laughs> okay, you gotta do this quick. We gotta start yoga. Okay. Second one. Third. So not only are we doing yoga in this house, but lots of Legos. Being very creative. And last one, so we can get started. Last. This one. All right. You ready to start? Okay, can you put those over there? Okay. Well, you can watch them. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Move it up. Really up. Home, home. Okay, come sit down. All right, I'm ready to start. Are you Zephyr? Zephyr, I think it's fine. Okay. Wait, hey, let's go. Here we go. Let's start, Zephyr. Next waiting for us. Okay. Are you ready for yoga? If you're ready, then stop your feet and make some noise. Stop your feet and make some noise. Stop your feet and make some noise and stop. Lift up your legs. And lean forward. Are you ready for yoga? If you're ready, then stop your hands and make some noise. Stop your hands and make some noise. Stop your hands and make some noise. And stop. Lift up your arms. Take a deep breath. Oh, that felt great. Ready? Exhale it all out. You need to scooch that way. Because look in the camera, right? Yeah, but then that means you need to find that this way a little bit. Are you ready for yoga? If you're ready, then stop your hands and stop your feet and make some noise. And stop your hands and stop your feet and make some noise. And stop. Lift up your arms. Lift up your legs. Give your knees a squeeze. And everybody say hug. So when we go through this sequence, we always go through. Just this is Uncle pay attention because you're going to need to remember some of these moves for later, okay? Yes, but hug, 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 boat, <laughs> river, river, sandwich, sandwich. Pizza. pizza. Oh, wait, I'm going to scooch back. You stay where you are so they can see my pizza, pizza. Butterfly. butterfly, hug, uh, butter, uh, pizza. pizza, river, river, sandwich, sandwich. hug, hug. Crisscross yoga socks. Crisscross yoga You <laughs> forgot to put your arms up on the second room. It's okay. No, it's not. not okay. Because it doesn't River. look like a river. Yeah, river. Thank you. It doesn't look like it's a river. It's okay. Zephyr's correct. I know. It doesn't look like a river when you don't put your arms up. All right, my friends. Today, oh, today we're going to play some yoga games. Games, games, games. So games, Zephyr games, came games. up with two. He decided on two of the games that he wants to play that are two of his favorites that I play when I go into his class. So one of them is called Wise Owl Says. And then the other and then the other one 
is ABC yoga. Yeah, it's called alphabet yoga or yeah. ABC yoga. Yeah, because you get to make your body into a letter. Yeah, so that one all the kids really love. So you guys all have fun with both games. But as always, we didn't decide what breath we're going to start with. So maybe I'll let Zephyr just choose. Um, I like to start with a breathing exercise. It's one of the first things that we do. Um, um, which breath? What breath should we do? We do take roller coaster take five? Yes. We haven't done that yeah. one. Okay. Everybody show me five fingers. And then you're gonna pretend that this is your roller coaster car. Let's see. I don't know if you can see me well. Let's see. I'm gonna move up. Let's move up here. Okay. Like so this. that's the camera remember. So you're gonna take your inhale, go up the hill. Exhale down the hill. Nice, nope, but we do it slow. Okay. If the purpose is to do it nice and slow. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And one more, inhale up and exhale down. So I just want to let you know that there are many ways you can do this one. You can also bring your hand, bring your hand on a piece of paper and trace it as you go up and down the hills. That you can do too. Um, I saw a friend, um, her kid, Farah, who was taking yoga with me and her mom took my training years ago. Uh, Aileen, I saw Farah's version of Take Five, which I found really interesting. So she inhaled like this, and then down, and then inhaled up and then down so there are so many ways that you can do this one did you see that supper isn't that cool you go up and then down mm -hmm. just like that so i just made the roller coaster mm -hmm. go around my whole body oh you can make the roller coaster go around your whole body if that feels good to you as you breathe yeah right so there's no right or wrong way of doing it that's why i doing it fast yeah so whatever, yeah, we don't, the, when you do it fast, it's not as calming. But the thing is, for kids, you have to find whatever is going to work for you to help calm you when you need it, right? Do you think doing it that way would help to get you calm when you need to get calm, when you need yes, to calm the bulldog? Calm. It gets him calm. All right. So let's do a roly-poly pop. Can you do your roly-poly pop? I'll do a roly-poly pop today, too. You ready, Zephyr? Thank you. Give your knees a squeeze. Ready? We're going to come up to our feet. Rolly, poly, pop. I haven't done a rolly, poly, pop in a long one. time. I'm going to do another one. I, I, don't need, I don't need to hold my hands under here. Rolly, poly, pop. Wow. Okay, everybody come to stand in your mountain. So we're going to do all our usual warm-ups. Then we're going to do a bunch of other poses that I'm going to teach you, my favorite warrior sequence, and all kinds of stuff. Then we're going to play the game Wise Owl Says. And then... So, no, 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 Can we just stick to that? Okay. Yes, okay. We're not talking about that. Yeah. Right, but we're only talking about Wise Owl Says right now. So with Wise Owl Says, it's important that you are focused and you pay attention because... When we play that game, you're going to need to remember how to do those poses. It's basically like Simon says, except you have to do yoga poses and it's a wise owl saying it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hands to your heart and everybody say mountain. Mountain. We're going to do all four versions. Mountain. 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 Volcano. Volcano. Can you scooch up a little and I'll scooch back? Okay, ready? Mountain. Mountain. Volcano. One more time. Mountain. Volcano. And end it again. Volcano. Okay, standing star. Standing star. Can you scooch over that way a little? Thank you. And they can't see my hands. You're, that's okay. No, it's not. Twinkling star. Twinkling star. Look, you can't see this hand of mine. It's okay. Shooting star. Shooting star. Shooting, shooting star. star. Standing star. star. Guess what? I have a new one, Zephyr. Yeah. Falling star. Falling star. <laughs> falling dancing star. star. Yeah, falling star. <laughs> and then da dancing star. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of energy in this house. Okay, can you scooch up? 
Ready? Hold it, star. Hold it, star. Twisty star. Twisty star. Twisty star. Twisty star. Hold it, star. Right. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Walk your hands up nice and slow. Jump your feet together. Uh, all right, hands back to your heart. So we're going to step one foot forward, one foot back. And we're going to reach our arms up to the sky. And this is warrior one. Everybody say, warrior one. Warrior one. And then we inhale, big inhale. Exhale. Same arm, same leg. Everybody say, warrior two. two. Good. Okay, back hand to the back straight leg. Look up to the sky. Peaceful warrior. <laughs> okay, ready? Bring your arms back out. We're going to do triangle this time. We're going to straighten our leg. We're going to reach out and then bring your hand wherever it lands and look up to the sky. Say triangle. triangle. All right, watch what we're going to do. We're going to bring our hands down and we're going to do a little superhero wait, switch of the feet. Wait, wait, Mama. We're not doing it right now. Ready? Switch feet. You can't the whole warrior sequence. And then reach all the way up. But you're freezing the warrior sequence. All right, well, maybe we'll add it. Warrior one. Warrior one. Warrior, warrior two. two. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Peaceful warrior. Reach out. Straighten your leg. Come down. Look up. Triangle. Take a deep breath in. Ready? Pull yourself all the way back. So Zephyr really wants to do Warrior 3, so we'll do it from here, and then we'll switch arms and legs. I mean, switch legs. So get back into Warrior 1. So I just want to show you and remind you the difference between Warrior 1. Warrior 1, we're facing forward. Warrior 2, we're facing sideways. Okay? Right, warrior 1, Warrior 2. Our head is always facing forward. Wow. All right. You ready? So for warrior three, we're going to pop up onto this front leg and our arms can go back or sideways, either way. Or forward, actually. You ready? I'm going to go back. Ready? Warrior three. Hey, what do you mean back? So my hands. Oh. Or my arms can go forward, right? Right? And then come back to warrior one. All right, so let's bring our hands to our hips and let's just do a jump switch of the feet here. That's not easy. <laughs> I can do Pretty another good. Let's do another one. No. Two more. You can you could do two more. <laughs> it's hard right. on my body. Okay. Ready? Pop yourself up. Oh, here he's jumping. Pop yourself up. That means we need to get outside and do some activity, right? All right. Warrior three. Warrior three. Okay, I'm gonna give you a trick from here, you guys. Ready? Stay in warrior three. Watch this. Don't put your foot down. Don't put your foot down. Tree. Whoa, how is that? Let's go back to Warrior 3. Can you do it? And you're, it could be a little wobbly, right? I'm doing this. And then bring your foot back. Warrior 1. Warrior 3. Okay, ready? We're going to jump switch Warrior. our feet again. Ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. Okay, ready? We're going to go back into that Warrior 3 on this side because now we do the same thing with the tree. But we're going to hold hands. Okay, ready? <laughs> Ooh, I like it holding hands. Hot. Nice, Zephyr. I can't see the top of your That's okay, it doesn't matter. So hey, no, 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 it's fine. And ready? We're going to go back into Warrior 3. See, look how fun it is with the partner. Woo, woo. We're flying, we're flying. Partner All right, warrior back to Warrior three. 1. Partner Warrior 3-3. Three, three. And then hands back to your heart. All right, I'm going to teach you one more pose before we play our game. Clap, clap, clap. Reach your arms up. We're going to sit in the chair. Everybody say chair. Chair. And then we're going to lower our chair. Move your chair up. Move your chair down. Ready? Little baby chair. Baby chair. Big papa chair. And that, that is chair. <laughs> that is chair. And then grandma's rocking chair. Grandma's rocking chair. <laughs> All right. I'm going to shake it out. All right. So how about this? I'm going to have Zephyr demonstrate a couple more poses real quick. Ready? Downward dog. We guys can do it too. Uh, kitty cat pose. Cat and cow. Hands and knees. Uh, big cobra snake. <laughs> Downward dog. <laughs> uh, peaceful frog. Wow, you know so many poses. Butterfly. <laughs> All right. Come on up to stand. All right, so I'm not going to do the poses. I'm just going to call them out. Zephyr's going to do them. 
Yeah. And you can do it, and you have to do it too. Oh, you guys have to do it. I'm not doing it. I'm going to call them out. Yeah. All right, you ready? So we call this game Wise Owl Says, because guess which part of our brain we need to use? My owl. This is our thinking part of our brain. Wake up those wise owls, everyone. All right. When I say Wise Owl Says, you need to do that pose, whatever pose I say. If I don't say Wise Owl Says, should you do the pose? No. No. If and you do it, we'll just laugh. We can't see you, but we'll we'll imagine that we can see you. All right, you ready? And grown-ups, you guys should try this one, too. It's not easy. It's really fun, though. It's fun, though. Ready? It's fun, though. It's Here. fun, though. Ready? <laughs> Wise Owl Says Warrior One. Nice. This is a test on how much Zephyr knows. <laughs> Wise Owl Says Standing Star. Good job. Folded Star. Wow. Did you guys go there? Wise Owl says folded stars. <laughs> Baby chair. Oh, did I say Wise Owl says? Uh, ah. <laughs> okay, Wise Owl says baby chair. <laughs> Wise Owl says downward dog. There you go. Stick that tail up in the air. Wise Owl says warrior three. Nice. Tree. Oh, good listening. Uh, Wise Owl says tree. Uh, nice job. Uh, Wise Owl says mountain. Pick your favorite. Awesome job. All right. I think we're good with that game. Wise Owl says volcano. Oh, Wise Owl says volcano. <laughs> Somebody wanted to do volcano. All right, you guys. So you get that game. So feel free to play that as much as you want, right? It's pretty fun. All right, next game. ABC Yoga. ABC My Yoga favorite. is our first favorite. So this game requires you to really get creative. You're going to use your body to look like the letters of the alphabet, right, Zephyr? Mm -hmm. All right, what are you looking at? <laughs> I just <laughs> so we're going to start off kind of easy, but just know that there's no right or wrong way to do these letters, okay? You know what I'm going to do? I have a light here, but I don't think I need it. I think it's too bright. Yes. Yeah, All right. Now it's too bright. No, now it's perfect. All right. Ready, Zephyr? Yeah. Okay. The first letter we're going to do, and some letters, okay, this is the other part. Some letters you don't even have to stand for, so get really creative. You might have to sit. You might have to lay down. There's many ways to do so many of the letters, and you might even need a partner for some of the letters. That means some of the letters I'm getting you for. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Zephyr's going to lead the way now, so you'll tell me if you need me, okay? All right. The first letter is X. I need to. X. I need to. For an X? Uh -oh. You can do X by yourself. It's like a standing star, right? You have to put your head down. You could. Or just imagine your head isn't there. All right. Next letter is Y. Oh, that's is that a lowercase or an uppercase? No, well, an uppercase. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe both arms up at the same place like this. No, but then that means you have three coins. That's true. Okay, so it's that first Y. And then how about T? Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the next letter is my favorite letter just because it's, you know, you'll see why. The next letter is <laughs> L. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Zephyr's going to do it one way. Oh, yeah, that's an L. I can do it like this, right? You can do it like this. River. Right? Yeah. Yeah, but then that would be backwards though because your hands are longer than you. I don't know. It's all in the way that you envision it. All right. You ready? Next letter? Let's do Zephyr's letter. Z. Z. Z, Z, Z. Z for Zephyr. Oh, yeah. You know what? You got to move up because we can't see the bottom of your body. Now go sideways. Face me. There you go. Now that is a Z. Awesome. I hope your Z's look as cool as that. I bet they do. All right. How about, why don't you call out a letter and I'll do it. Um, I. I? 
Okay. I can do it. Uh, do we do a lowercase i or, or an uppercase i? Either one. Oh, Persephone's joining us. We need you for this letter, uh, Persephone. Oh, yeah. I like the way Zephyr's doing the i, or I can do it that way, too. Like that. I mean, I'm... Right? Right. All right. How about let's do a partner one. Ready? Mm -hmm. M. All right. How do you want to do double dog? Yeah. Like All right. This. No, no, you Yeah. Yeah. Double dog, double dog. Okay, so put your. Come on. No, but we're just gonna go both yeah. into a downward dog. <laughs> uh, downward dog. Double downward dog is M. It could be or that. you know how I envision an M also. Stand up. I you can just go like this, right? I yeah. I think the double downward dog would be better. Okay, well we just did it. Yeah. Okay. Can okay. I? Uh, yes, you can pull out a letter. P. P. <laughs> <laughs> How about O? <laughs> yeah. All right, here's a letter I really like to do. K. Yeah. Yeah. All right, how about this one? E. <laughs> Wait, are you doing? Oh, you doing an uppercase? I did an uppercase. Okay. Although it looks like it had a lot of legs. No, that. No, or no. F. Wait, I'm gonna put my e. Oh, lowercase a. I know. I know. I know. All right, you guys get the hang of it, right? Pretty fun. Awesome job. Does this look like me? Oh boy. Yes. All right. Come on and sit on it. It is basically a lizard on a rock. No, I'm trying to. You did. <laughs> really Can you go back over to your spot? Because we're going to get ready for relaxation now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right. <laughs> we're going to do. It smells over there. I don't know what to tell you. Three. <laughs> <right here. laughs> Three roly polies. Let me see them. Roly poly. Roly poly. Roly poly. And candle. It's five. Ready? We're going to count. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So, do you want the blanket under your head today? Yes. Yes? Yes, please. I want to lay on the blanket. You want to lay on the blanket? Okay. Yes. So, do you want me to put it back on your mat? No. Well, it's not smelling anymore. It's not? No. Or do you want to be on this mat? Okay, well then you gotta let me put the blanket. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Zephyr's got a blanket ready for him. Um, Mama. Oh, well, then switch up that way. Okay. 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 Okay
I want you to imagine that place as you relax your body. Imagine what it feels like every time you're in that space. That's your favorite place. How do you feel? Are you feeling relaxed when you're there? Because you want to pick a space where you feel the most relaxed. And imagine your body right now is in this special place, so relaxed and calm and peaceful. Imagine what you are lying on. Maybe if it's your bed, imagine what that mattress feels like under your body. If it's lying on the grass under a tree in the park, imagine what your body feels like on that grass. If you're at the beach, imagine the sand under your, under your body. So just imagine how it feels, whatever's holding you up, helping your body to relax and stay calm and peaceful. And know that you can pull this up for yourself anytime you need it. When you're feeling worried or, or frustrated or angry or sad, close your eyes if that feels good to you or just lay down and just imagine being in your favorite space. You can do it even sitting up. You can do it wherever you are. If you're in a car, if you're in sitting at the kitchen table, or somewhere that doesn't really feel good to you. I want you to imagine that you're in your favorite place and just see if you can get your whole body so relaxed, calming your bulldog, calming every part of you. I'm going to ring my chime again. When I ring this chime, you're going to give me a thumbs up that you hear it and thumbs down when you don't. Go back to your breath. So keep that special place in your mind. Just noticing what it feels like, what it smells like, all the things you see when you're there. And know that this special place is with you always, no matter what, you can always pull it up in your mind. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your belly, wiggle your nose. Quietly and gently, you're gonna roll yourself all the way up to sit. Crisscross yoga sauce on your mat. I'm still here, I'm still here. Bring your hands together to your heart. Rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep breath, and we sing. Oh. Om Shanti Shanti, peace. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. So when we sing Om Shanti Peace, what are we sending out into the world? Peace. Peace and love, love and, and kindness and, and quietness and fun and happiness. Yeah, all of the things. And fun. And stuff. There's light inside me. There's light inside you. Together we are one. Together we are one. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Peaceful thoughts. Peaceful thoughts. Peaceful words. Peaceful words. Peaceful heart. Peaceful heart. <laughs> Peaceful Persephone. <laughs> Give yourself a Peaceful big hug. Peaceful Persephone. <laughs> Say, I love myself. I love myself. Give me a hug, please. This has been a fun, fun week of yoga with my boy. All right, come sit down. So again, this is our last live one of the week. Go to my website. You have 16 different class options. Some are geared more to preschoolers. Some are geared more to families. Some are geared to school age kids. Plus Persephone. Plus Persephone. You can do any of them anytime you want. They are all there for you. Forever and ever and ever. They're, and they're going to live on my website and on YouTube. So I'm going to probably rearrange how they show up on my website, but they're always there. Um, again, can you, can you just hold on to that, please, because it's distracting. Okay, thank you. Okay. It's distracting me. Again, if you feel so compelled to donate, please do. If 
you right now or don't have the means, then just continue to do the yoga because it's there for you and it's really important stuff. And those of you who did donate, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is beyond appreciated. But I'm happy to have everybody here, regardless of whether you donate or not, of course, because this is what we do. This is our service. We love to put this out there for you. Um, so you get a little 20, 30 minute uh, spark of joy in your day. Um, or 40. Or 40. I don't know how long this one was. Anyway, we will see you again soon. Stay tuned. I'm going to send some emails and information out. If you don't get my emails for whatever reason, just go on fulloflyoga.com to the online classes under the kids section, and you'll find all my updated information for my recurring classes that I'm going to start next week. Once a week for preschoolers, once a week for family slash school age. And like for school age, well, I'm going to see how I'm going to work it out, and as I'm figuring that out right now, and I will see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Have a great if weekend. If you're not be watching soon, yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ooh, ooh ah, ah. Oh, Fox and B. Fox and B. Hi, Fox and B. Wait, <laughs> hi, Fox. Wait. Hi, Fox and B. <laughs> Hi, Fox and V. Hi, Fox and V.